Awesome. So this is going to be a best of three match. Um, that way, if a rush strategy comes down and takes out a map, the player isn't completely out of the game yet. He still has chance to come back and uh, win again in those later two matches. But that best of three just kind of deters always rushing, right? It always gives that option for players to pull out different strategies than they passed it. Like we saw um, Hobo, he kind of did a different strategy the second time going the bio, getting that double drop versus Mech that he had played in the last two games that we casted. I mean, he hey, we do, have, we do have players like Printf and uh, Haas exist, so yeah. always rushing is an option. Mm -hmm. And even when people know it's coming, sometimes it still works. So mm -hmm. Even in GM. Speaking of strategies, uh, TGMLGs looking like to go for a rush here. No natural base expansion. Went for a fast pull, fast extractor. I um, that. Into base. <laughs> so we saw this last time against a Zerg versus Zerg. And it worked pretty well for him, I would say. But, you know, Zerg versus Terran, I think the most that he's going to get out of this, if Warrior does his build correctly, would be a uh, CC on the natural base and thank you very much for the subscription dr heresy man that's two subs tonight thank you so much i appreciate hey. it you don't know how much <laughs> i know i know who you are heresy i'll find you later and thank you in person but thank you you don't man that's amazing thank you so much man and we're almost at 100 followers we're getting really close Two celebrations in time. I'll have to do something, maybe a giveaway or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, we're at 95, so. Oh, good players don't lose lings. Let's see. It's gonna be close. Oh, oh no! Oh no! He loses <laughs> both. <laughs> but two did get away, and they're running for their lives. They saw what happened on the other side of their map. Oh, and roaches now coming out right away here. These are very fast roaches, very scary. Oh, he's gonna start chiseling away at that command center. Marine's gonna come and shoot them away. And it uh, looks like Warrior's going to be throwing down that bunker, making sure that he's going to be able to hold any link pressure, which TGMLG is going to do. Although, it might actually be a roach pressure, as we can see that mm -hmm. layer started and roaches are on the way. A couple lings, or actually those are roaches across the map. This could be very deadly, especially if he morphs those into Ravengers. He only will have enough for two, but... Bunker just barely finishes up here. Um, they're really right on this front door. If he's able to kill that SCV, he could potentially supply block here. Oh, but all the SCVs do come off the line. Picks up a Reaper for his troubles. And that's about where we're going to be at right now. Oh, two more. Oh, drops the supply depot wall really quick. More roaches are gathering. He knows it's coming. Yep, and the roach like SCVs, pushes so. here. And now the roaches are going to try to go in again. He needs to use this bile on the outside of the bunker. So that way, while he's repairing the bunker, he's going to get those SCV kills. That's how you break this line of this Terran defense. And he morphs the higher health roaches into the Ravagers. Something small, but it helps when you're doing these really early pushes. You know, every bit of HP counts. There it is! And I like, I still think that's decent positioning. You know, he's going to be able to attack that supply depot. But, you know, when you're doing a push like this, you just need to be constantly going in back and forth. Because the second that this single tank pops, your entire push is done. Doesn't matter what you got. Mm -hmm. Unless so. he walks this tank out of the wall, like, you're not going to break that. <laughs> right. Well, Evo mm -hmm. Chamber goes down on this other map. Uh, a minerals. Okay. <laughs> I mean, hey, oh, proxy hatch, maybe. <laughs> maybe could could have happened. 
That tank is out now, though. And TGMNG yeah. is going to go home. A couple more loss, SCVs come off the line. The lost mining time is small, but it is there. There's enough SCVs that are getting pulled off. Oh, I like this. Wow, the micro from Warrior is pretty good. The Roaches are going to try to come in here again. They're going to get a tank for their bio pressure. Wow. But that's a lot of bio underneath of these tanks now, and it's going to start uh -huh. to get pretty pretty high here as we start to see the Terran walk away with a supply lead. But, you know, like we saw last game, we've seen some pretty crazy comebacks in this tournament so far mm -hmm. so uh last series hobo was definitely walking away he was at the candy shop he ate the candy and he was walking out the front door and he said no and slammed the door in his face of hobo isn't that a great analogy i made great. can you tell that i made that up on the fly i i, I could though oh i'll try better next time <laughs> Uh, again, late extractor take on the uh, expansions of these uh, newer players here. Only one taken. He's already going on, going on to the third base. I'd like to see his extractors taken earlier, you know, get that tech up a little bit faster, but what can you do? Yeah, definitely, I agree. He probably could have been a little bit more greedy, gotten that fourth base, gotten a couple more drones while he's doing this pressure, because, you know, the whole idea of the pressure is containment, right? And so, when... You know, you don't have an economy behind the contain. It's going to be really rough when he breaks that contain in like this. Now he's walking across the map. What are you going to do? You don't have the drones to back up behind. Oh, no speed was research. The wings are still slow. And I'm liking Zerg hacks. They don't have bonus HP. <laughs> no, they do not. <laughs> he's you got know. four. He's got four spines at the top of the ramp, though. It's going to make it hard for him to push. But with these Marauders. He's really just burning down these buildings really quickly. Just so much skimmed bio here at the front door of our Zerkar TG MLG. And even that siege tank position onto the natural base here now. Spines gonna be able to take out a tank? That's really nice, there you but go. that's a lot of bio underneath of these medevacs. They're gonna be doing a lot of damage now. Even everything that's popping out of this natural base is now going to start dying, and TGMLG is going to have to tap out, leaving the first map over to Warrior.